Yeah, well, I mean, the India-Russia relationship uh, is a very long-standing relationship, and, uh, and both sides like to talk about how it goes back to the earliest days of the Cold War, and that uh, you know, the Indian uh, government likes to talk about how it's uh, that Russia has been uh, India's most dependable, trustworthy ally. Uh, you know, there was a time not too long ago when when uh, Narendra Modi said that uh, if you if you speak to any little boy in India. If you ask him who India's best friend is, he'll always say Russia. So there's a sense of nostalgia and attached to the relationship. But I think that the intention or the objective of this summit is to project the idea that it's not just about symbolism and nostalgia, that this is a relationship that remains full of substance and is very robust through defense cooperation and energy cooperation. And even though a deepening U.S.-India relationship and deepening U.S.-China rivalry, India-China rivalry suggests that the India-Russia relationship could be in trouble. On the contrary, it's not, and there's still a lot of uh, cooperation at play. And I think we will see the announcement of a few new agreements, uh, defense and energy agreements, to, to bring home that message that the India-Russia relationship continues to be a very substantive and robust one. Michael, before we let you go, I just want to ask, I mean, what's the benefit, in your view, to Mr. Putin? if uh, he does, in fact, decide to make a military incursion in Ukraine? Um, is that just getting a bunch of 18-year-olds to have something to focus on since we've trained them as a part of the military? Might not want them focused back on Moscow? Yeah, I mean, and that, and obviously for domestic political I mean, reasons, he's already built but, Nord Stream 2, right? So it's not like it's about a pipeline. It's literally about, about worldview. It's about territorial yeah. integrity, and it's about, what, pushing back on NATO. I mean... What's your take? No, I mean, as, as I was saying before, I think that it could deliver a pretty strong message at home and it would play well uh, politically uh, at, at home. This idea that uh, Russia is strong and it do what it needs to do uh, uh, the face of these alleged provocations coming from Ukraine, which I think would clearly be manufactured by, by the Russians. Uh, it's hard for me to come up with any good reason for an invasion uh, of, of, the, of, of the Ukraine. And, Hopefully, it's just a lot of bluffing and, and nothing else. But um, you know, no one really knows. We'll find out, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, all these concerns will be alleviated not too long from now.